my goodness, what a sweet baby you have. Thank you. Oh, just look at her chubby little legs. She's so fat, I just want to eat her up. Excuse me? What? Did you just call her? I was just saying how adorable her fat legs are. How dare you call our daughter fat? Poppy is very healthy. Oh, I, I didn't mean to offend you. Uh, it's just something people say. I mean, most babies are fat. It's just kind of how their bodies look. Our daughter is not fat. At most, she is curvy. Thank you, that's what I've been saying. You've been saying your baby's curvy? We love our child no matter what, even if she is voluptuous. It feels a little inappropriate to call your daughter voluptuous. Why? Is there something wrong with my bodacious kid? That's not what I meant. What's so bad about calling a baby fat? Making it a dirty word only further stigmatizes the fat baby community. Poppy already knows she's a thick queen. Actually, I don't think she does, brain-wise. And she shouldn't be shamed for that. Oh my god, you're right. How could we have been so ignorant? We're still growing. I think it's brave for a fat baby to show off her body. Why should she apologize for taking up space? She can't apologize, she's 10 months old. That's right, girl. Don't let the patriarchy win. But the patriarchy loves babies. <laughs> oh, it looks like little Poppy's hungry. It's time for lunch. <laughs> wow, it is so incredibly brave for a baby that fat to be eating in public when everyone is judging her for her food choices. But she didn't choose her food. Although it does seem like diet culture that she's drinking breast milk. Does somebody want to be let out of her chair for playtime? Wait, is she only exercising because she's ashamed of her big baby belly? Oh my, good point! Strapping her back in! Yeah. Honey, you are perfect just the way you are. How is she supposed to learn to walk? <laughs> oh my god, of course! Her workout is an act of radical self-love! Well, that would be okay, wouldn't it? Unstrapping. <laughs> yes, queen, love yourself. Hello, ma'am. I'm here representing American Eagle Outfitters. Where did he come from? We've taken notice of your brave displays of baby positivity, and we'd like to offer you a monthly contract with Every Baby, a loungewear line designed to fit babies of all terms and trimesters. <laughs> Mama. That was insane. What, so you're saying that fat babies don't deserve to be models? No, I mean, I don't know. Maybe no babies should be models. Wow, okay. My fat baby can be a fat model if she wants to. <laughs> oh no, all red trolls are attacking my fat baby for being a fat model. Since when is it okay for babies to glorify obesity? I bet this whale calf tore her mom's neck wide open. Maybe try putting down the nipple and not sucking so much for once. Yeah, lol. The amnio doctor probably needed a jumbo-sized needle for this feet ass. When did you even post that? When I was a newborn, I weighed six pounds. I got there by crawling to the gym six days a week and drinking nothing but lean breast milk. I earned a right to be proud of my baby body. Baby fitness starts in the womb, so that slim neonates can slide out of the canal without a fuss. Now these snow fetuses are demanding their own special birth accommodations? C-sections, really? Fat and fabulous at five months? Here's how the plus-size fetal community is pushing back against dangerous stereotypes. You know, Pam, I have to say, as a former plus-size baby, this movement really speaks to me. I can't tell you how many times a family member or even a stranger made unsolicited comments about my little pot belly or even my squishy little arms. I'm so sorry you had to go through that, Kath. I'm ashamed to admit my privilege here, but I myself was a very trim baby. Well, folks, there you have it. Next, are you accidentally offending your two-month-old? It's important to use sensitive language when addressing babies of size. Introducing Airy Diapers. Diapers that fit all babies, not just the ones that meet conventional heterosis normative standards of baby.